Hey there YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you a program I made in Python that will automatically rotoscope your videos and footage frame by frame. So before we get into it, I'm going to be explaining the two versions of the Autoroto app I have. So let's go to the computer. So we have two versions, the CUDA Autoroto app and the basic Autoroto app. The CUDA is the NVIDIA GPU accelerated version, while the just normal Autoroto app runs on the CPU. The difference is the GPU will run more quickly, but it will um, be less accurate frame to frame, while the CPU will run much more slowly. So let's take a look at how to use it now. Um, so if you have Python installed and you open whatever Python prompt you have, I'm going to be using Anaconda, you will have to install two things. One will be um, PyQt5, which you should use pip for pip install pi qt5 which is just your interface code it's going to say already met for me because i've already installed it and secondly we will want to navigate to the pytorch website where if you scroll down you will see a few ways you can download it we will want to download with pip make sure you have the highest version of cuda selected um, that from there we can just copy by control C and pasting with control shift V or control V into your terminal, hitting enter. And it will say, once again, it's already satisfied for me. So how do you run this now? Well, you'll navigate to the directory that you have your program in. In my case, the C slash user slash test folder. And from there, I can just simply type Python CUDA, since I'm running the CUDA Autoroto app, otherwise you type Autoroto app and then hitting enter. So you'll see you'll have your initial output, um, initial window here, relatively bare bones, but it will do the job. We can select input images, which will just cause us to select a folder. So we'll go to pictures, Autoroto test two, and hit select folder. This is just a folder created by the output of the program whenever. So let's hit select folder. And for mat height, since I do not want to take this to take forever, I will only have a resolution vertical of 256 pixels. So it will maintain your aspect ratio, but you can scale your vertical height pretty easily. You click set and you're ready to start rotoscoping unless you want to rotoscope something other than people. This will dictate what you rotoscope. Um, that can be people. You can uncheck people, of course, vehicles, animals or household objects such as sofas, um, TVs, really whatever. So I'm only going to have people selected since I'm only rotoscoping myself and I'll hit start rotoscoping. You're going to see press show up here and then we'll wait a bit. There'll be a message about something being depreciated but it's fine and then we will see the outputs mats being generated. Um, this will take a while so I'll come back to you when it's finished. Okay, so the program just finished running. Um, we went from 100 and something to 421 um, images. So what we'll do is we can take a look at our output. I was in the pictures, Autoroto test 2 output folder, and we can see the mat was generated. Although it's somewhat low res, it's still good enough to use. So how would you use an alpha mat? Well, we can simply open a program such as Blender or After Effects if you're so inclined. There we can select most simply the VFX workspace or visual effects and go to compositing tab, select use nodes, delete, shift A to add, and we can add an image, shift D to, um, shift D to duplicate, we can hit open, pictures, autoroto test 2, A to select all, open image, and do the same but for the other, but for the subfolder. So let's go to pictures, Autoroto test two, output A to select all, open image. Then we can just set um, an alpha, let's drag our image up to this node, drag our alpha up to this node, output to image, control shift click to view the mat. Now this is not the most accurate mat, but it gets the point across. It actually is much better when you are using in a higher resolution, such as a 1080 or 4K. Um, so, how, how, how do you get this app, you might ask? Well, 
um, you can head over to this GitHub page, which I'll link in the description, um, where I'll be updating this whenever I so, um, so desire, or someone, if you want to update it yourself, can contact me. Um, and you'll just see, um, you can download the program from there. Um, that's really all I have, though. I'll make sure to upload a, a example of a high-resolution mat just so you can see. Um, but really, that's all I have um, for you guys. So, that being said, have a good day.